a board has always to support and mentor the management of the company. Here, with such a small company, there's a very close relationship, very uh, collaborative. So it is not a board that only meets four times a year uh, for three hours. It is a board that is in regular contact with management on a weekly basis. I'm more of a businessman, uh, thinking uh, more what, what can we do with the product later on. And I just want to make sure that everybody is doing what they're supposed to. I'm more a commercial person than a scientific person. So I'm more interested in, uh, in finding the right partner which, and then make a license agreement. Dear shareholder, this is truly interesting times for Jusen's vaccines. We are now entering into the clinical studies with our own product candidates. At the same time, we have experienced significant interest in our products. It is a fascinating time right now to be in this company because we are at the dawn of demonstrating the value of our solution, first with influenza and then possibly beyond this with uh, other airborne pathogens. First of all, I believe in this product that it can make a difference for patients uh, and also, of course, for their families. The technology is uh, fantastic and uh, if we really reach our goals, uh, we will have a superior product uh, for, against flu. I say one of the key strengths of Eurosense vaccines is that we have people on board that has been involved in all stages of development, clinical, regulatory, but also the commercial part of it. So we have all the competences to draw on, even though that we are a relatively small organization. The science, the quality of the science. Uh, this company is truly based on a thorough, rigorous scientific approach. And, and this is something that I like. The, uh, the, the team is, is not overselling, is not bragging, is delivering, working, and then we look at the results and we move to the next phase. Well, this board here is working very close together with management. We are a very active board. We are in contact with management uh, on a weekly basis. So right now the role is a combination of making sure we stay the course, we deliver the clinical results that we're expecting, but also that we prepare the next phase, that we get ready for the expansion of the portfolio of this organization beyond influenza. It is important that we execute on the clinical studies on time and on budget, but at the same time it's also very important that we already now start to bring in competences that can look at what are the next clinical and regulatory steps in order for us to advance this product candidate as rapidly as possible uh, in order to bring you know, value for the shareholders. And then we are looking at what is the strategy for the company uh, when we will receive the clinical data. These discussions is something that we have already initiated in the board. It depends on what, what your goal is uh, with an investment. If it's just money you're after, it might take a little bit longer than other companies. But if it's something fantastic for the future and you want to be a part of that, that's why you shall invest in Eurosin vaccines. I mean, first of all, it's, uh, it's always fascinating to see a startup company in the field of vaccines. Vaccines is, has been my passion. I've been in this industry for many, many years. And, and you don't have a lot of innovative companies there. Most products do never reach the market. But I think that Eurocin has a product that has a very good chance to show good results and really reach the market. So the likelihood is much better than in most other companies, small companies. If you look at my history uh, in all the companies in the biotech industry that I've been associated with, all of them uh, have been able to bring products to the market. It has always been my aspiration and will always be my aspiration that we can bring products to the market in order to help patients.